we with my boy DJ right now. And uh, what's up, what's up? Um, I'm going to let him do a little talking about playing basketball overseas and uh, just achieving your dreams. You can go ahead. Oh, yeah, what's up, man? My name is DJ Demetrius Turner. Everybody know me as DJ, one of board Tristan. On this live podcast show, you uh, just want to ask me about overseas. We're going to do this thing. We're going to do it. Yeah. So what is it like playing basketball overseas? Oh, man, it's great, man. It's a great opportunity. Uh, I was blessed to uh, have a chance to go internationally abroad to play. Uh, I think uh, that really changed my life tremendously, just traveling, doing something I love to do, get paid for what I love to do in my past. And uh, what would you say to somebody trying to go that route? Like, what would what would they have to do in order to, you know, achieve something like that? To achieve that, man, you can, you can do anything you put your mind to. I just tell them, you know, discipline is everything. You know, train hard, work hard, you know, get good grades, go to class. You know, the first step to get to that level, you got to go high school, college, you know, make sure your grades are right so you can get recruited to college and then, you know, see how your play is. And then the next level, Europe, European, NBA, whatever have you. Uh, I'll just tell anybody like trying to pursue that, just, just stay on the grind every day, stay disciplined. Have the faith, believe in God, and achieve your dreams. What would you say, like the practice is like? Like how many, how many hours on a daily basis do you think you put in for oh, man. just what for before before you, right, before right you hour, even know, like, before you even hit the dream, like when you just wanted the dream, like oh man, this man, that's going back in the garden, like when you was in grade, when you was a kid, man, like I, I didn't put over a million hours plus in, man. Hundred something million hours, man. Like I don't know. Like lifetime till infinity. Sometimes I get lost in there. It's like a hyperbolic time chamber. Like you go in there, it's like, dang, I came here at one. Like, damn, it's nine o'clock. That's the kind of grind. That's the kind of desire you gotta have to you know, make it succeed. How, you were always. You found your passion early. You were saying. Yeah, man. I found, it, it's, it's very hard for people to find their passion early. You know, some people find it later in life, but. You find your passion early, that's like truly a gift from God because you really know your purpose and what you design to do on the planet. You know what I'm saying? But your passion, you find it, it uh, very few people find their passion early. You know who who would you say you were most influenced by as far as like basketball players? Like who is uh, probably like maybe not your favorite, but most your most influential player? Like uh, My most influential player would have to be uh, Gary Payton. Uh, my dad he used to live in Seattle. He used to work at uh, Aerospace, and uh, I'm from LA, you know, South Central Compton. So I used to go up there uh, during the summer, and I would go to Gary Payton's camp. And they used to have that Seattle Pacific University, and yeah, GP like used to come to me like, man, I like your game, I like your skills, and he used to send me shoes and stuff to my, my dad's house and stuff, give me stickers, and you know, he was really like. Like really somebody that was, you know, a down to earth person. And I always and I always already loved GP. GP was like one of my favorite players growing up. And then it was already like a dream come true going to his camp and then, you know, building a relationship with him and sending me shoes and stuff. So that that was really dope, you know. <laughs> so I say GP. All right, man, we're gonna do one last thing, man. Um it's Thanksgiving. What would you like to say? What would you think before? Man, I'm thankful for all my boys coming and having them chilling with me. Uh, you know, me and you, Trisha, we are relationships since the 96, 97. Yeah, way back. back. We were way back, uh, kids. 15 plus years. You <laughs> Pity know? pack. So way back. <laughs> drop, drop, drop. Coming <laughs> in the back. Kissing in the room with the gangster league. Yeah, yeah. We're just Ooh. telling that. I'm thankful for all my family and friends coming and joining with me. And, you know, we all, I, I wish everybody, you know, the best uh, success in their life and their goals and their dreams. And, well, we appreciate you, man. Thank you again. You know, we're going to be looking out for you. Is there anything we should be looking out for anytime soon? Uh, you know, look, uh, you know, I say the ID, 